The pristine Inner Galaxy Survey X presents the largest detailed chemical analysis of very metal poor stars in the Sagittarius Dwarf Galaxy, focusing on 12 low metallicity stars with metallicities as low as Fe, H, equals 3.26. These targets, selected from the pristine Inner Galaxy Survey, were observed using the MITE high-resolution spectrograph at the Magellan Clay Telescope, enabling the measurement of up to 17 chemical species. The chemical composition of these stars reflects the imprint of various type II supernovae, requiring a combination of low to intermediate mass high-energy supernovae and hypernovae to account for the abundance patterns of lighter elements up to the FEPIC. The trend of heavy elements suggests the involvement of compact binary merger events and fast-rotating intermediate mass to massive metal poor stars, which are the sources of rapid and slow processes, respectively. Asymptotic giant branch stars contribute to a wide dispersion of Ba per megagram and Ba EU. Notably, the absence of an alpha Ni in the data indicates that type Ea supernovae did not contribute in the very metal poor region, Fe, H is less than or equal to 2.0. However, they might have started to pollute the interstellar medium at Fe, H, greater than 2.0, given the relatively low Co, Fe, in this metallicity region. The Sagittarius Dwarf Galaxy serves as an ideal laboratory for testing models of chemical evolution and hierarchical accretion dynamics. Estimated to have experienced its first infall about five year ago, the system provides valuable insights into the early chemical enrichment history of the Sagittarius Dwarf Galaxy, carrying the chemical imprints of the first generations of supernovae. The Sagittarius Dwarf Galaxy, located approximately 26.5 kiloparsecs away, is the third most massive satellite galaxy in the local group. Its complex star formation history, shaped by tidal stripping by the Milky Way, has been investigated through high-resolution spectroscopy and photometric techniques, revealing at least four distinct stellar populations. The galaxy's core is dominated by metalric stars, formed recently and influenced by tidal perturbations, making it challenging to explore its most metal poor tail. Only a few very metal poor stars have been analyzed with high-resolution spectroscopy, providing chemical abundances for various elements. The chemodynamical properties of the metal poor population have primarily been studied in its stellar streams. However, the synergy between Gaia astrometry and photometry in metal poor dedicated photometric surveys like Pristine offers an efficient way to probe the most metal poor tail of Sagittarius. The Pristine Inner Galaxy Survey targets very metal poor candidates towards the galactic bulge and Sagittarius using a narrowband CAH and K filter to derive photometric metallicities. Recently, Vitali et al. revealed a negative photometric metallicity gradient extending up to 5.5 kiloparsecs from the center of Sagittarius, suggesting outside in star formation. This implies that metal poor stars form throughout the system, while more metalric stars are concentrated in the inner regions. This study presents the most extensive chemical analysis of very metal poor stars in Sagittarius to date, using high resolution spectroscopy with the MIKE spectrograph at the Magellan Clay Telescope. The target selection and model atmosphere analysis are described, along with a comparison of metallicities and radial velocity from the pristine medium resolution analysis. The pristine inner galaxy survey, PIGS, focuses on the metal poor population of the Sagittarius, SGR, dwarf galaxy. The authors selected 12 very metal poor, VMP, stars from the SGR core, excluding members of the nearby nuclear star cluster M54. These stars have radial velocities between 100,200 km per second and metallicities, Fe, H, is less than or equal to 2.0. The limiting magnitude was set to G equals 16 mag. The stars were observed using the Magellan Clay Telescope with the Mica Shell Spectrograph, achieving a resolving power of R tilde operator 35,000 in the blue and R tilde operator 28,000 in the red. Data reduction was performed using the Carpi pipeline, and radial velocities were measured by cross correlating the observed normalized spectra with metal port templates generated from OSMARCS stellar atmosphere models. The SGR core is displayed in equatorial coordinates, with the 12 targets denoted by a star marker, color-coded by their metallicity from PIGS, AAT. 
Candidate SGR members in the pig's photometric footprint are marked by gray dots, and black circles denote SGR stars observed with a T low, medium resolution. The red cross marks the position of the nuclear globular cluster M54. For the model atmosphere analysis, the effective temperature and surface gravity were determined using a color temperature relation and the Stefan Boltzmann equation. The surface gravity depends on the heliocentric distance of the stars assumed to be 26.5 plus or minus 2.5 kpc. Gaia photometric magnitudes are dereddened using the 2D dust map from Schlegel et al. 1998, and updated by Schlafly and Finkbeiner, 2011. The authors also report the effective temperature and surface gravity used in this work, which are displayed in the Kiel diagram with very metal-poor isochrones from Padova and Mesa, MIST. Figure 2 showcases the quality of the data through examples of Mike spectra for various targets. The top panel focuses on the MGI triplet region, which also includes several Fe and T lines. Vertical short lines mark the position of MGI, T, and Fe lines commonly found in the targets. The central panels highlight the CI 3905.523 A-line region senior 24077.709 A-line region and BOD 24554.029 A-line region. The bottom panels display the NAW I doublet IL 5889.951, 5895.924 A-lines region, which also includes spectral lines from various interstellar medium clouds. The signal-to-noise ratio, S, N, of these spectra, measured in the MGI triplet region, ranges from approximately 24 to 56. To ensure that the Fe I abundances do not depend on the reduced equivalent width for some stars, the authors employed a methodology to adjust it. The high S, N of the spectra and the wavelength coverage of Mike enable the measurement of various species that are tracers of early nucleosynthesis in SGR, such as carbon. The authors utilized spectral lines and atomic data to determine the elemental abundances in their targets. The atomic data includes oscillator strengths, damping constants, and energy levels, which are essential for accurate abundance calculations. The pristine inner galaxy survey X presents the stellar parameters and chemical abundances of 14 target stars. Table 1 lists the essential details for each target, including pristine names, Gaia DR3 source IDs, coordinates, photometry, reddening, total exposure time, and signal-to-noise ratio at the MGI triplet region. Figure 3 displays a keel diagram of the mic targets, color-coded by metallicity, and compares them to an old, very metal-poor isochrone from Padova and two Mesa, mist isochrones. The chemical abundances are derived from the spectral lines of various elements, including alpha elements, odds elements, fepeak species, and neutron capture process elements. Table 2 presents the stellar parameters, including radial velocities, effective temperatures, surface gravities, and metallicities, along with their uncertainties. The chemical abundances are derived using MOOG3, a software package for abundance analysis, from equivalent widths measured using DAOSPEC. OSMARCS model atmospheres are employed, except for two stars with metallicities below 3.0 where PLES 2000 model atmospheres are used instead. The final chemical abundances are obtained by averaging the line-by-line -line abundances. The output files from Moog, including line-by-line -line chemical abundances and a table summarizing chemical ratios, are available at the Centre de Donnes Astronomiques de Strasbourg. The uncertainties on the chemical abundances are estimated using Moog, which provides the chemical abundance scatter, delta A, X. In calculating uncertainties in abundance measurements, the authors combine lintoline scatter with uncertainties from stellar parameter variations in quadrature. The final uncertainty is determined by dividing the total uncertainty by the square root of the number of measured lines for a given species. Non-local thermodynamic equilibrium corrections are applied to X, Fe ratios when comparing to supernovae yields models, sourced from the MPIA database and inspect for various elements. A comparison is made between the radial velocities and metallicities derived in this study versus previous values obtained from the PIGS, AAT analysis. The radial velocities exhibit good agreement within tilde operator 5 km s-1, 
except for one star that may be part of a binary system. Metallicities differ by less than 0.5 dex for most stars, although the values obtained in this work tend to be systematically lower. One star exhibits a significantly higher metallicity in this work compared to the previous analysis, but the uncertainty associated with the previous value is high. The distribution of metallicity and radial velocity is discussed, with the pigs, mic radial velocities and metallicities presented alongside similar selections from other studies. The radial velocity measurements fall within the distribution of other SGR stars, ranging between 100 minus 200 km s minus 1, with a mean of tilde operator 148 km s minus 1. The metallicity distribution of the target stands out, exploring the low metallicity region where only a few stars have been studied previously. The Sagittarius dwarf galaxy's stellar chemical composition is investigated in this study focusing on very metal-poor stars with iron abundances below 2.0. By combining data from the pristine inner galaxy survey with other datasets, including Apogee DR17, Hansen et al., 2018, Chiti and Frebel, 2019, Chiti et al., 2020, Monaco et al., 2005, and Mucciarelli et al., 2017, the research reveals a double-peaked metallicity distribution among Sagittarius stars. This phenomenon is attributed to differences in selection functions between datasets. The pristine inner galaxy survey's medium resolution campaign has significantly expanded the number of stars with measured radial velocities and iron abundances in the low metallicity region, identifying three carbon-enhanced metal-poor stars likely resulting from binary interactions. The carbon tuaran ratios indicate that Sagittarius's carbon levels are comparable to those in other classical dwarf galaxies but lower than in the inner galaxy and the Milky Way halo. This disparity is thought to result from the higher efficiency of the interstellar medium in dwarf galaxies, which retains the ejected yields from more energetic supernovae events, producing more iron than carbon. Consequently, dwarf galaxies exhibit a lower carbon-enhanced metal-poor star fraction as discussed by Lucchesi et al., 2024. The chemical abundances of Sagittarius stars show good agreement with literature values, although they are more metalric than the sample analyzed in this study. The elemental abundance ratios, X, Fe, display a similar trend between Sagittarius and Milky Way halo stars for most elements, with the exception of aluminum. Discrepancies in carbon tuaran ratios between datasets are likely due to differences in stellar atmosphere models, atomic data, line lists, and the 12C, 13C isotopic ratio. A comprehensive analysis of chemical abundances in Sagittarius, SGR, stars is presented, comparing them to Milky Way, MW, halo stars. The abundances are shown as a function of Fe, H, with SGR stars marked by blue circles and MW halo stars represented by gray circles. Literature stars of SGR are denoted by black circles. The data is presented in local thermodynamic equilibrium, LTE, and halo stars have been selected to be all giants for a fair comparison. The chemical elements analyzed include carbon, sodium, magnesium, aluminum, silicon, potassium, calcium, scandium, titanium, chromium, manganese, cobalt, nickel, zinc, strontium, yttrium, barium, and europium. To correct for stellar evolution effects, the chemical abundances, X, Fe, are adjusted according to Placo et al., 2014. The datasets used are from the Saga database, Suda et al., 2008, Monaco et al., 2005, Mucciarelli et al., 2017, Hansen et al., 2018, Chiti and Frebel, 2019, Chiti et al., 2020, and Sestito et al., 2024a. This comparison sheds light on the differences and similarities between the chemical composition of SGR stars and MW halo stars, providing crucial insights into the formation and evolution of galaxies and the role of chemical enrichment processes in shaping their stellar populations. This study presents a comprehensive analysis of the chemical composition of the Sagittarius dwarf galaxy, focusing on its very metal-poor stars. By comparing the results to other dwarf galaxies and the Milky Way halo, insights into nucleosynthetic processes and star formation histories are gained.
The observed abundance trends in Sagittarius' very metal poor stars show a deficiency in manganese and cobalt, which could be attributed to different star formation histories among these systems. The presence of a carbon-enhanced metal poor star with high barium and carbon content suggests the contribution of both rapid and slow neutron capture processes. Comparing Sagittarius neutron capture elements to those in other dwarf and ultrafaint dwarf galaxies, it appears that Sagittarius exhibits a similar chemical abundance ratio of strontium, barium, iron, as classical dwarf galaxies, but higher than that observed in ultrafaint systems. This similarity suggests that multiple nucleosynthetic channels likely contributed to enriching the interstellar medium with heavy elements. The widespread in strontium, barium, distribution and the supersolar value for some Sagittarius stars indicate that both slow and rapid neutron capture processes played a role in chemical enrichment, particularly in forming more strontium than barium. One very metal-poor star exhibits a high, strontium, barium, ratio, similar to a star analyzed by Hansen et al., 2018, which they interpreted as originating from pure R process. However, the contribution of SPR processes cannot be excluded as processes from low-metallicity fast-rotating massive stars can also explain an excess of strontium production over barium. The chemical space, barium, magnesium, vs, magnesium, hydrogen, is used to discern if a contribution from asymptotic giant branch metal poor stars is present in a closed system other than supernovae 2. A scenario where only supernovae 2 contribute, primarily our process, would produce a flat distribution of barium, magnesium, known as a barium floor. On the other hand, if asymptotic giant branch stars are present, they would produce more barium than magnesium through processes, leading to an increase in barium, magnesium, as magnesium, hydrogen, increases. Comparing the barium, magnesium, distributions in Ursa Minor, Sagittarius, and Fornix provides insights into the nucleosynthetic processes and star formation histories of these systems. The Sagittarius dwarf galaxy's stellar population exhibits distinct chemical signatures, particularly in neutron capture elements such as strontium, barium, and europium. These elements are formed through different nucleosynthetic channels including the slow neutron capture process in asymptotic giant branch stars and the rapid neutron capture process in supernovae 2 or compact binary mergers. The analysis reveals that Sagittarius dwarf galaxy stars display higher strontium to iron and barium to on abundance ratios compared to Milky Way stars, indicating a significant contribution from asymptotic giant branch stars in the chemical evolution of the Sagittarius dwarf galaxy. The barium to magnesium ratio also increases with increasing iron abundance, further supporting the role of asymptotic giant branch stars. The barium to europium ratio increases with iron abundance, confirming the slow neutron capture process contribution. This suggests that stellar ages should be limited to allow asymptotic giant branch stars to enrich the interstellar medium. Regarding the rapid neutron capture process, the europium to magnesium ratio does not show a clear trend with iron abundance, although the sample size is relatively small. Future studies will extend this analysis at higher metallicities. The large dispersion in europium to magnesium ratios may indicate a partial contribution from delayed rapid neutron capture process sources, such as compact binary mergers. Theoretical yield models, including compact binary events, suggest that multiple supernovae 2 contributed to the Sagittarius dwarf galaxy's chemical enrichment history, given its evolved and massive system. The chemical composition of stars in the Sagittarius dwarf galaxy, SGR, is investigated using the tool star fit to analyze observed data. The aim is to understand the role of supernova events, specifically core collapse supernovae, CCSNE, and asymptotic giant branch, AGB, stars, in shaping elemental abundances in SGR. Figures illustrating, BA per megagram, VS, MG, H, and BA, EU, VS, FE, H, ratios for SGR members are presented, comparing them with Milky Way halo stars and theoretical models. These diagrams suggest that the chemical composition of SGR can be explained by a complex mixing of different SNE2 events with both low and high energy supernovae contributing to the observed abundance patterns. 
By running Starfit multiple times with different numbers of supernova events and considering both local thermodynamic equilibrium, LTE, and non-local thermodynamic equilibrium, NLTE, chemical ratios, insights into the potential sources of heavy elements in SGR are provided. The importance of considering other nucleosynthesis channels, such as type Ea supernovae and AGBs, which are not accounted for in the current version of Starfit, is highlighted. A separate paper focusing on more metalric stars is planned to address this limitation. This section presents a detailed analysis of the chemical composition of SGR, shedding light on the complex interplay between various supernova events and their impact on the galaxy's elemental abundances. A comprehensive chemical abundance analysis of 12 stars in the very metal poor region of the Sagittarius Dwarf Galaxy is presented utilizing high-resolution spectra from the Magellan Clay Telescope to measure precise radial velocities and chemical abundances for up to 17 species. The study finds agreement between radial velocities and metallicities with previous AAT analysis, with an exception for one star, P185855301555, classified as CEMPs and likely in a binary system due to its C, Ba, Fe, ratios. Notably, the number of stars in the core of SGR with Fe, H, is less than or equal to 2.5 increases from 56 to 9 stars. Chemical abundances of SGR do not differ significantly from the Milky Way halo distribution for most species, except for MN and company, which are at the low end of the MW trend, and AO, which is higher than in the MW. These differences can be explained by mass and metallicity-dependent SNE2 yields, common in classical dwarf galaxies. The abundances derived in this work are compatible with the trend of SGR stars from the literature at higher metallicities. Furthermore, no alpha Ni is detected in the very metal-poor region, suggesting a lack of sne -ia. However, the low, co, fe, and Fe, H, greater than 2.0 compared to the MW halo trend might also indicate a contribution from SNEA. The distribution of SR, BA, Fe, and SR, BA, in SGR is similar to that in other massive classical dwarf galaxies, indicating both rapid and slow process channels are present in the chemical history of the system. The study concludes that the chemical evolution of SGR can be explained by a combination of low to intermediate mass high energy supernovae and hypernovae, as well as compact binary merger events. The results also suggest the presence of fast and slow process channels in the chemical history of the system. The Pristine Inner Galaxy Survey, PIGS, X presents a comprehensive analysis of the chemical enrichment of the Sagittarius, SGR, dwarf galaxy. Observations reveal a wide spread in Ba per megagram as a function of Mg, H, and in Ba, Eu, Vs, Fe, H, indicative of asymptotic giant branch stars polluting the interstellar medium of the system. The chemical trend of the SGR stars can be fitted by the mixture of multiple type II supernovae, requiring low to intermediate mass high energy supernovae and hypernovae to reproduce the lighter elements up to the Fe peak. The trend of the heavy elements is explained by the presence of compact binary merger events and fast-rotating intermediate mass to massive metal-poor stars, sources of rapid and slow processes, respectively. This work provides an unprecedented detailed view of the very metal-poor population in SGR and the early chemical enrichment of dwarf galaxies in general. Future studies will investigate the more metalric population of SGR, exploring the contribution from type Ea supernovae, in dissecting the chemical properties of SGR, its core, and its stellar streams. The authors acknowledge funding from various sources, including the National Sciences and Engineering Research Council of Canada, the Millennium Nucleus ARIS, and the European Research Council. They also acknowledge the use of data from the European Space Agency's Gaia mission and the Gaia Data Processing and Analysis Consortium. The Sagittarius Dwarf Spheroidal Galaxy, a close satellite of the Milky Way, offers a unique testbed for understanding the early universe. This galaxy's star formation history and chemical evolution are shaped by massive stars, which play a critical role in nucleosynthesis processes. To investigate this, a research team obtained high-resolution spectra of 15 red giant branch stars in the Sagittarius galaxy using the Very Large Telescope in Chile. 
By analyzing these spectra with the turbospectrum code, they determined stellar atmospheric parameters and elemental abundances. The team also employed the Galaxia tool to simulate the galaxy's chemical evolution based on its star formation history. The results reveal a wide range of metallicities, with some stars exhibiting very low iron content, indicating formation from gas not significantly enriched by supernovae explosions. The abundance patterns suggest an early period of rapid star formation, followed by a quiescent phase, and then a renewed period of star formation triggered by interactions with the Milky Way. Theoretical models were used to simulate nucleosynthesis processes, accounting for contributions from both massive stars and type Ia supernovae. These models indicate that the observed abundance patterns can be explained by a combination of these two nucleosynthesis channels, with massive stars responsible for producing alpha elements and type Ia supernovae contributing to the enrichment of iron peak elements. This study provides new insights into the star formation history and chemical evolution of the Sagittarius Dwarf spheroidal galaxy, highlighting the critical role of massive stars in shaping the galaxy's chemical composition. The findings underscore the importance of considering both massive stars and type Ia supernovae in models of galaxy chemical evolution.